And why on earth are you thinking about it? No. Why are you freaking me out like this girl? It's so tiny and so cute. Oh! We've been accepted. Hey, my little fishies. Welcome back to another video. Welcome to episode three of our Not So Very Challenge Plum Generation. And if I seen Hyper, it's because I am. Because today I'm really, really excited because we've got a lot that's going to happen in today's episode. Let me give you guys a little bit of a taster. So first of all, uh, Leela is Lila. Oh my gosh. I've literally been recording for like 10 seconds and I already get her name wrong. Oh, Lila is at school right now. Hopefully Lifton's a teacher. Yes, you are. Good, good baby chicken. Lila, I'm going to be aging up into a young adult in today's episode episode we got one day left of teenhood and then it's adulthood responsibility bills mortgages and all of that jazz which i'm excited for because i like the grind however we're going to be doing things a little bit differently for lila so in previous generations i have been like vax to riches for everyone grind 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 however what i'm going to do for lila is a little bit different i built a four by four teeny tiny build and i've actually added it to you guys can watch sir and be adorable by the way while i talk i've added it to my sim world i've also recolored it to plum so you guys we'll get to see that hopefully well definitely in today's episode the value of the house is 25,000 simoleons so instead of Leela having to move out on her own and immediately start the grind which is what I've done with all previous generations what Leela will be doing instead is moving into that amazing pre-made house with all of the furniture so things are going to be a lot easier for Leela at the beginning we're going to be moving out because she's basically going to say to Ash she's going to kind of make she's going to broker a deal with oh stinky Ash so what she's going to say to Ash is look I want to go to uni I don't feel like I can study in this house it's just too busy but also i would like to do like a um she's basically gonna do and you can do this on some courses in the uk you can do like an intensive course it's usually if you have an undergraduate degree already but work with me here what she is gonna say is like i want to do um medicine oh, okay reckon going on here i want to do a medicine degree but i want to do it as an intensive course so i want to do it in the space of one year rather than four it's going to be a grind but it's actually not because it, i've just installed a mod that instead of it being 12 modules it's four but she's like but i don't want to live at home because it's just a little bit too crazy here for me to be able to do that intensive course with all the toddlers and children and whatnot but I also don't want to move out to uni as well so she's gonna be like I found a house it's 25,000 simoleons I know that's a lot of money but if you and dad help me out then I will pay you that money back and I feel like Ash is gonna be like look we're more than happy to help you out money isn't an issue anymore and I've always said that I would always do right by you guys we've already done the grind in my life I don't want you guys to do the grind as well all I ask is that you make sure your siblings are always well cared for so we are going to be giving Lila a 25,000 simoleon house. It's obviously not insane monies, but it is still uh, quite a lot of monies. You're also feeling a bit stressed. So why don't you come and play with Surin on the slide here? So we'll be doing that in today's episode. I'm really excited. Also with Lila's challenge, we will be quitting the medicine career and switching to the entertainment career. So I feel like we're instead going to have a little bit of rags to riches midway through our lives, a bit of a different approach to it when we drop everything to become a traveling entertainer. So we're going to be starting that journey in today's episode. I am so excited. I can't even tell you guys I've been looking forward to recording this all weekend. So if you guys are excited as well, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Give this video a bunch of love. Also, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, but also make sure you hit that notification bell or else you won't know when the videos go live. And yeah, let's get into today's episode. So how are you doing, my love, in terms of all of your challenges? Your lifetime aspiration? You've got to become an adult? Is it young adult? Does young adult count? I don't know. We've got to reach level three of any career. It's already saying you're doing two out of three of that, which I don't really understand. Like, is it counting my high school career because I'm an A student? Maybe it is. Also, one of you guys pointed out in the comments, one amazing peachy said that if you graduate with an A, you start at level three of your job. Which I did not know. How did I not know that? I am the biggest Sims new ever. So I am very, very hyped to hear about that. Sam has come home and given us 1,000 simoleons. However, I still need another five. So what I'm thinking is Ash has work tomorrow. Ash is like our big money maker. <gasps> Brenton's popped by as well. Yay. Actually, hilariously, these two sibling rivalries, once I graduate from uni, they're going to be working hopefully together in the same hospital. One of you peaches has actually built a hospital, which I'm going to check out because we're going to be replacing the in-game hospital with our awesome built hospital for the doctor's career, which I'm really excited about as well. And how can I make a bit of extra cash? <gasps> oh my gosh. The other thing you guys said I did. This is so funny. I actually named Vernon Veron. 
You guys noticed it, I didn't, because I am honestly terrible at noticing this kind of thing. There we go, Vernon. We've got the right name now, there we go. Oh, the plants. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and sell. <gasps> the roses are worth a bunch, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a uh, planty vibes. I may just plant a few of these alongside as well, just see if we can get a little bit of extra cash. We've kept these from Saffron, so it helped us out a bunch and continues to do so. Literally wonderful Saffron helping us out from beyond the grave, which I love. And we are no stranger to needing to make a bit of quick cash, you know? I did that an awful lot in this series. Wow, Alila, face planting. You're getting ready for transcending into adulthood. So yeah, you, you are ready. Do you need to get ready to go for work because you'll get a bit of cash from that as well in your fast food career. Well done. Um, make sure we are working hard. There we go. Maybe you'll get a promotion today. That will help us out a bunch as well. Celia also heading into work too. She's got a part-time job in customer support so she can spend as much time as possible with little Vernon. And look how cute Surin is. There's something about this kid. I just find him so adorable. I'm really impressed with Saj Sam's amazing, beautiful child making skills. Well done. I also have these feathers as well. Oh, 110 pounds for a puffin feather. Okay, so we're all on 21. This feels like the beginning episodes again. We're on 21,000. I still need like another three... $4,329, I think, maybe. Uh, you've lost one of your favorite toys. I probably sold it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Play with a different one, okay? And look how close this family are. Everyone has to be in the same room. It's like me and Ali. All just hanging out together, having a little chit chat. I love that Brenton still comes around so much. I find that so cute. Such Sam also has a guitar in his inventory. He likes to whip out the guitar every now and again. We've not really seen a bunch of it, but I was thinking that it would be a really nice gift for Leela for her birthday, so. <gasps> Leela didn't get her promotion. It's fine, because what, oh, okay, Vlad is here. It's fine, because what I'm thinking is that while Leela is in university, we will we'll actually keep our job, because I need to reach level three in our job, so we will keep working. My job's kind of bugged at the moment. It says every day is a day off, even when it's not, which is concerning. I also think that might be why she's not getting a promotion. I might have to quit and rejoin the career, which, <gasps> straight home to give sister snuggles. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, angry baby, angry baby. Sleepy baby, okay. Why don't we put our sister to sleep? But yeah, I will keep doing that while we're in uni because that's going to be our only income. And we'll be doing uni from home. That's how we're going to do it. Oh, so actually, you know what I need to do with her tonight? I am going to apply for some scholarships because I'm definitely going to need them. So let's apply for scholarships. And then we've got a broken sink, which is great because I can get her to repair it. And that helps me out with my handiness skill, which I really want to mark. Oh, Celia earned a raise. Yeah, well done. Okay, athletics, food and drink, helping hand. Don't think we'll get that one. Brindle's a Bay resident. Can I apply for a bunch? I'm gonna apply for athletics. Okay, also food and drink. I don't think we'll get helping hand, so I'm not gonna bother wasting my time with that one. But I will do Brindleton Bay resident. And then, which university? She's gonna be doing university from home anyway. I'm gonna see which one has the best medical degree because we're competing with Brenton, so we want the best possible education. Okay, degrees, distinguished degrees. Which one do I need for medicine? It's probably gonna be biology, right? Foxbury, let me just check the other one real quick. Art, history, communications, drama. Yeah, okay. We want to go to Foxbury for biology. And oh my gosh, Surin couldn't go to sleep because I never got in bed. I'm sorry, my child. Surin, you'll be able to get my room when I move out. So, oh no, because Vernon will need a room too. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Okay, less watching TV at 1.30 a.m. in the morning. More getting to sleep, Surin, please. First day of school tomorrow. And oh my gosh, she is super close with Vernon. Maybe she's taking her mum's advice to heart already and being like, gotta look after family. I wanna keep an eye on little Vernon, who was weirdly called Vernon until tonight, but whatever. Keep a little eye so that I am always looking after my fans. Okay, so it's this little Bun Bun's first day of school today. Don't worry though, cause you are going with big sister Lila, but why don't you get a little head start on your homeworks as well? Such Sam is up and is happy. Worrying, very worrying. But he will be able to help you with your homework. Lila is hungry, bless her, but she wants to do medicine. So instead of getting breakfast, she's instead getting a bunch of extra credit work, which I'm going to get Ash to help her out with. And bless, Celia is woken up. She does this quite a lot. She thinks about Vernon a lot. So yeah, she's woken up feeling sad. I guess as well, though, the whole naming your child after them is definitely going to make you think of them a lot more. So Siren is at his first day of school. Listen to teacher. And Lila is going to final day of school. Also listen to teacher. Sam is heading to work. When 
don't you go schmooze with your boss? And this is where we're actually gonna make the money. It's us. She got work in six hours time. And she definitely is the breadwinner of the family. And Lila got the results from her study determination test. Her, her scores aren't quite as high as she hoped. I think you should retake the test because this feels like the M cuts, which you need to do medicine. So retake, please. <gasps> and more roses to sell. Yes. And wow, this is a real throwback. But I think I'm going to get Ash to do a bit of fishing to earn a little bit more money to give Lila the house that she wants. This is literally something Ash did like episode one. So this feels like a real nice throwback. Her kids did it for her. Now she's doing it for her kids. Okay, and now worky time, which is the moneymaker. So, and Stella, Lila can enjoy the weekend knowing she's one of the top students at Buckingham High. Yes, girl. Although you did have a flirtatious day at school. Got a compliment from a cute classmate. What? I've not really delved into romance with Lila yet, just because we're focusing a lot on her skills. Like, she's too busy. She's just way too busy. Between her family and her studies and her lifetime aspirations, there's just not enough time. And she's got work tonight, but I'm gonna, before we head to work, go ahead and officially apply to the one that's not Brightchester. <laughs> oh my gosh, they did an autonomous ask out. <gasps> I switched that option back on in MCC, but they're the first one to do it. So Celia and Dylan are officially dating again so yeah celia and dylan are a thing again guys and they did it on their own i actually didn't do it i mean if you've done it on your own accord fair enough you do you boo and this little lamp bun bun has reached communication level four so it was a good idea giving him a key one because it's kind of nice they got back together again i'm not gonna lie but two he helps out a lot so <gasps> and with ash home i think we've got enough i think we've got enough household funds and usually I would get someone to bake you a birthday cake, but you want to max out the baking skill, so I'm actually going to get you to bake your own. A university application is in the mail, and it's time to blow out the candles and go in to adulthood, which I'm hoping is going to max this. I'm hoping you don't have to become an adult instead of a young adult. <gasps> okay, so Lila is aged up. We've got everything we need on here. The only thing we don't have is... I think it's non-committal. Let me just double check. Yeah, non-committal. Okay, so non-committal, boobity bobbity boo, done. And I'm gonna give her a new look when she moves into her new house. I feel like that makes the most sense. Oh, and the good thing is I'll probably get a bunch of gifts from people that I can sell. <laughs> and why on earth are you thinking about, but no, how can you be thinking about babies? Maybe it's just period nausea. Please just be period nausea. You've never woo-wooed. There's no, you don't have a woo-woo memory. So I feel like that's all it is. Why are you freaking me out like this girl? Don't you dare do this. You will ruin all my plans. Oh. And we got awarded food and drink, but not Brindleton Pay was resident and not athletics? What? No way. Okay, that's not as much help as I was thinking we'd get. Okay, so today is the day that we're gonna go ahead and move Lila out. So I am gonna get Sam to come and be like, congrats on your birthday. Sam being her like step dad i guess but definitely a really strong like father dot relationship there i'm also gonna give a gift which is his guitar because i feel like we're gonna need that for the entertainment career so definitely like a nice thing for him to do and also shows that these guys have a really nice relationship which i think is very cute so yeah he's like i know you want to be a doctor and you and brenton are obviously like very uh, ambitious very competitive but i also know how much you like dancing and singing and playing your keyboard as well so if you ever change your mind here is another musical instrument to add to your list too and she's like no i want to be a doctor don't take this away from me i feel like he knows something about her that you know she doesn't but <laughs> she might not be happy about it right now but trust me you're gonna look back at this moment and be very very happy about it and then before i leave the house as well i am gonna go ahead and what i actually think i'm gonna do is move surin's bed into here and i will move Vernon's stuff into here, which means that for the first time ever, Celia will actually get a double bed. Oh, have I got enough money to be doing all this? I hope I do. Ooh, be careful, Claire. <gasps> we also got a bunch of stuff in. Oh, wow, Ash, MVP, what? Get this on here. <gasps> you got a treadmill from your job as well. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love that. Might have to go outside for now, but you've actually got some gym equipment back, which is great. This stuff I can all just sell. And it's time for Lila to say goodbye because you are about to head out, move out 
on your own as a full-on adult. So let's head to Manage World. And let me show you guys where I've put it. So I put it in the same place I built it. In a neighborhood, I actually don't live in a bunch, which is Newcrest. But we are using Lil Simsy save as we do Lil Simsy's at Not So Berry Challenge. So Lil Simsy has actually... This is Arnie's world map, which is why it looks so good. And all these builds are Lil Simsy's builds. Apart from my little plum build right here, which somebody has moved into which i hate so uh you are getting your butt evicted 25 aa9 so i think we just have enough let's go ahead and split up families it's sad but it's also a big part of growing up isn't it it's a big part of being an adult is moving out on your own so new household for lila and we'll give you twenty six thousand pounds it shouldn't be an issue because these guys earn a lot of money ash actually has work today so they'll have three grand in like six hours anyway but she will miss her family a lot and let's go ahead and move her into a four by four dinner tiny home which is now on the gallery if you guys want to play it but it's in its original color not its special not so very plum color remaining funds 100 but it's fully furnished which is brill and let's go ahead and play as solo ash in her new home and here is how it looks guys it's so tiny and so cute but it's plum it matches her hair perfectly which is obviously very very adorable and we've got this little bit oh we did have a bed. Oh, and the chairs are gone too. Okay, some things have not come with us when I place this house, which is a little bit worrying because I can't afford to buy new stuff because of the money. I do have work today, which could help us out a little bit. I'm just also recoloring a bunch of stuff to kind of fit this purple. I know it's a bit more blue, but it's also as close as I can get. Okay, yeah, we can't afford a bed. Which I don't love for us, but let's maybe see where we end up at the end of today. I don't really want to sell much stuff because I like the house that I built, but we shall see. <gasps> and already you're practicing your guitar! Yay! Love that. See, you were like all to sound like, no, I want to be a doctor. I don't care about music. I care about, uh, you know, competing with Brenton. But I feel like her true colors are actually showing here. She's drawn to this life instead, but she just doesn't realize it yet. So we got work in four hours time. We're going to keep working whilst we are at university. But we haven't yet found out if we've even got into university. I've applied, but we've not heard back just yet. And we also have some bees that kind of came with the house, which don't seem to love Lila just yet. And I don't think I've ever really lived in Newcrest, so I don't know what the weather is like here. Okay, neither does The Sims. Who knows? Who knows what it's like? It doesn't seem to have the best weather, though, which I don't love. And, okay, work. Good, because we need a bed. We need a bed to stay in tonight. Also, a 4x4 house really is very, very diddy, isn't it? Oh my gosh, the weather is awful. It's actually, like, full on thunder and lightning. Get inside the house, girl. And I can't afford a bed. Okay, amazing. So I guess at least I've got somewhere to sleep tonight. She's kind of vibing. I would personally be feeling a little bit lonely at this point. It's raining. You don't even have a chair to sit down on. You'd be used to eating like a home-cooked family meal at this point. But... I mean, she seems to be fine. She's more independent than I am. And we have reached singing level three, so, and guitar level two. She's actually building her skills up really quickly. Her social is probably gonna start taking a hit soon though, so we shall see. And it's the first day of fall, what? Okay, the lightning has given us some stuff to sell, so that's great. Might actually be able to get some chairs now. I have to send it to Geo Council, okay, whatever. Say good morning to the bees. Still nothing back from university and oh no. No, I need to buy her some more stuff, but we've only got $42. That ain't good. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try for the new Crest resident one instead. Also, low household funds. Okay, I'm gonna apply for everything. The more, the merrier. And look who's just walking by, pretending like, you know, oh yes, I just walk in this neighborhood. Not that you're like checking on your next gen, your daughter or anything. Yo, I just walk here. I just walk here. Although, you know what? It's actually quite lucky that you're here because I do kind of need a tampon on that. I kind of run out and I don't have any cash. If you've got any, that would be awesome. I think she gave us one. Oh, thank you, mom. And she's thinking about Brenton. Thinking about how you need that university degree if you're going to compete with him, but we've still not heard anything back. Okay, I did get her to harvest some things from her inventory, so I can plant a few little bits and bobs, which will help us out a lot. And oh my gosh, Celia is here now as well. They can't stay away, can they? Oh, both of them are here, actually. Dylan's here as well. Her family are so sweet. 
That's so cute. Everyone, like, has come around to see her other than, like, you know, little tiny children. Okay, I really hope we hear about university tomorrow. I wanted it to happen over the weekend so I could do my first day of classes on Monday, but the application process sure is slow. Oh my gosh, and even such Sam has turned up. But I've actually sent Lila to bed because I'm just like, the sooner I sleep, the sooner I hear back from university, you know? Sam will be like, oh, my guitar has been left out in the rain. Okay, and it's Monday. Surely, surely the postman is gonna come. Oh, postwoman. And give me my university up while you are pregnant. Oh, go easy. <gasps> yes! The mail has been delivered. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <gasps> It's bills. Are you kidding me? I've been here for like three days and you're charging me 400 pounds? Acceptance letter. Two. What? Oh, we've been accepted. Okay. This is great. This is great. How do I attend? How do I actually attend? Oh, and I did get the Newcrest scholarship. Yes. Oh, and I got Future Star. Oh my gosh. And I got Education for All. Oh my gosh. Moving to Newcrest was such a smart thing to do for scholarships. Look at me have a little celebration dance. Yeah. And now, okay, which one do I want to attend? It was Foxbury, right? Let's attend Foxbury. And biology, distinguished degree, I can do it. And how do I want to do this? If I do this, I don't get to do an elective, but I do everything in one week, which is kind of what I want to do because I don't want to spend loads of time at university. The other option is I do two classes and take an elective, such as like fitness. There's no dance one though. You know what? I don't want to spend my whole life at uni. I feel like we should do four classes and that should be, we do four classes to graduate. It's a super speedy one. We're going to do it at home. And all of these scholarships mean that we actually don't pay. There's nothing to pay. Thank you some goals because it would have been 240 times four but i think we've got easily enough to cover it oh my gosh <gasps> yes and that actually for some reason gives us the next part of the renaissance skill i don't know why i really don't know why but it does i feel like it thought university classed as a career okay now we've got to reach level eight and six skills which we're nowhere near right now and we've got our first class in 24 hours and i've got okay in this teeny tiny house i have to try and fit two term presentations i don't know if she'll be able to do these if i put them like that let's see oh <gasps> she actually can oh my gosh our whole room is now university but this is what we knew we were gonna have to do. Full ride, fully paid tuition. And we've got 700 pounds from what was left over from our scholarships. Oh my gosh, we've literally nailed it. But this week is gonna be incredibly hard. It's gonna be so much homework, so many projects. The good thing is I can actually pay my bills, which is amazing. And I've got that element I can sell too. I've got my acceptance letter for university. We're doing it all at home. It's a very non-social experience, but I also feel like this is the best way to do things. And I feel like the final thing we should do is give myself, give myself, give Lila a little bit of a, I'm at university now, we're on full on study mode kind of makeover. So this is her current look. It was great while she was a teenager, but I feel like we should transition it over into something a little bit new now. Okay, I've kind of gone kind of quite, I'm gonna lose a necklace actually, quite sensible and like, I mean, her makeup's still very high key to be fair, but I feel like she's like, okay, I'm a student now. I'm getting ready to become a doctor. I feel like she's probably gonna tone herself down a lot for a doctor, but then when we go into the entertainment career, maybe we go the opposite direction. But for now, I've just kind of made her cozy. It's autumn as well, don't forget. Cozy, ready for doctor vibes. I also gave her a haircut. I think this hair really suits her. And short hair can be easier to manage. Fringe is actually not, but I thought she suited this hair a lot. So let me know what you guys think of her updated appearance in the comments below. So next episode, I think we're going to be focusing a lot on trying to grind Lila through this uh, first year of university. And then after that, we'll be able to stop being a doctor and going into the hospital, which I'm really, really excited about meeting all of our co-workers and all of that jazz. So if you guys are looking forward to that as well, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of updated Lila's appearance. I will see you guys in another episode of Not So Very. Bye.